welcome back to So Creative. This is Sarah. I'm here to share uh, how to make this pockets page or pocket flip out in a journal. And this is using recycled paper and then some kind of uh, fabric just to strengthen the top of the pocket or you can add a pocket on it like I did this one and leave the pocket kind of like tattered and torn and you can ink it up so that's what we're going to do today what I've done already is this is paper that you get on a roll at the Dollar Tree I'm sure you could probably get it anywhere at any store Walmart or any craft store that you can find brown packing paper but my point was uh, you can get it at the Dollar Tree and it's only a dollar so I cut it down I think this is like 14 or 15 there's 12 yeah, so it's like 15. That doesn't matter. But uh, I cut two pieces um, about 9 inches high right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two together. I just have some Elmer's Extreme glue stick. And since they want to round up like this. I'm going to take off, I'm just going to ink, or, I'm just going to glue the inside, not around the edges, because I plan on sewing, but if you don't plan on sewing, then make sure you go the whole way to the ends. So then I'm going to try to line this up the best I can. They're probably not cut perfect, and we'll fix that. But I wanted to double this up because then it's more secure and more, has more strength. You're going to see a little bit of the wrinkles from the glue stick. That's just because the glue stick because water soluble so water don't work with paper okay so then we're gonna take sorry for the glare if you see any the cutter and I'm gonna try to even this out Okay, and then we're going to cut it down to eight and a, or five and a half because that's a regular piece of paper and usually my journals are enough to, wide enough to accommodate. And if not, then I can, um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with five and a half. That's basic. But you can go shorter than that if you know that your journals that you make are going to be less than five and a half if you if you make five inch journals width wise so then we're going to decide how big we want our pocket 
So now, this is about eight and a half. So if we go with a two inch pocket, we'll have six. Might go with two and a half. I'm just gonna use my cutter again. I'm gonna go with two and a half. And I'm just gonna use my bone folder because it won't go way down in the crease and cut it. You just want to score it. Okay, so there we go. Now we got our pocket, and it's gonna curl and do its thing. I mean, we use packing paper. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. <laughs> so, if you want it to be perfect, you can do the same idea with uh, like scrapbook paper or some other kind of paper. You don't have to use packing paper. I'm just showing you a different way that. You can use packaging that you already have. I just have to have a rule of this. Because uh, I send a lot of packages out. But um, you can use the same idea when you recycle packaging that you get in the mail. Okay. Then we're going to take... And I thought about embossing this pocket but I don't know if you're going to end up seeing it anyway we'll give it a go so let me get my big shot up here Sorry for the glare. What I'm going to do is get my embossing folder. Line it up on here. It's not going to go the whole way. So, let me pull this out. Maybe. Yeah, it turned out uh, a little funky on that side. Not exactly even on this side. We'll make it work. So, get this out of the way.
you know, one side's going to be up and the other side's going to be down, obviously, because we did them um, together. As far as the embossing goes, so now that we have the pocket together, I need to, now that they meet, I need to even this up on the side. So then what we're going to do is, we're going to lose some of that embossing, but that's fine. I just wanted to see how it would work. So I got this strip of art cloth from scraps of journals I was making. Uh, so what I'm going to do is cut it about right here and then cut it in the middle <clears throat> and then we're going to cut this just a hair bit smaller so it'll fit on our pocket and we don't want to bulge up the middle we'll just cut this one. and i'm going to keep those scrubs Okay, so the pocket goes like this. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Fabri-Tac and I'm going to glue a little bit of the inside here. Not the whole way to the edge. And we're going to place about a quarter of an inch of it. Inside. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to sew around this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and this is what I got. I haven't sewed up the sides yet, I just wanted to show you what I did. Uh, I sewed around each section, sewed around the bottom edge here with a zigzag stitch just to give it a little interest. It was plain down there because the embossing didn't go the whole way down. This is where the fabric kind of flips up a little bit so you could see the embossing all the way. The fabric just wraps around to strengthen the top edge of the pocket. With it being doubled, it actually works out very well too. And then on the back, then you just see the stitching the whole way around. So 
So I'm going to sew up the pockets and then I will be right back. Okay, so then the pockets are made and then this is ready to go into a journal. All you got to do is sew it right in or you can do like I did on my last uh, journal is I took a bag and know if I have one handy. So you can take this and hold your bag. Glue this on. That's how I did it. Okay, a little confused because I wasn't in the journal. So you could take it and leave this to where. You can, you're not the whole way to the inside of the journal, and then you glue here, here, and then I would glue along the edge in here, and then when you flip it in the journal, then this will flip up, and you can still use your bag. And then this over here. If you wanted to, you could glue this and this along here, and this would be a tuck spot behind the bag. And then you got this to journal on. Just an idea, but you can sew it right into the journal. So this could be a page, and you could just sew it right into the journal. Oops, sorry about that. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to share this quick little tutorial with you guys. And I will be back with another video. And until then, I will see you when I see ya. Later. Mm -hmm.